So, what's good with everybody? Tonight is a night. John Morant is going to return tonight after his suspension. And John Morant is officially back on his Grizzly. No pun intended. And a couple months ago, I said that if John Morant leads this team to the playoffs after being suspended like that, he is top five in the NBA. So just the thought of John Morant playing, like it, it just make me realize how much we really miss John Morant in the NBA. Um, I think he about to come back and tear the and tear the NBA up. You realize that he really is what makes everything go on that team. So they got pieces, but they not at the same. They try to say, oh, the Grizzlies is better. They good without John Morant because of that little good record they had that season without Ja. But we see now that that's not the case at all. Him coming back to this team is really going to change everything for this team, bro. Just him just him alone. Everybody can tell right now and he didn't even come back yet. So, again, I, listen, if he, if he leads this team to the playoffs, bro, I'm, he's, he's top five in the NBA, period. Right? The whole NBA. They didn't let him get rest. You know what I'm saying? Even with Jada Grizzly not beating the Pelicans. Okay. That's cool. But I know one thing is that I always thought Zion, I always thought that Zion was better than Ja, but Ja Morant, excuse me, but Ja Morant is shown to be like more available. You know what I'm saying? More in shape and all that. So Zion, not even reaching his full potential out here. You feel me? You said if he gonna play tonight, he should play tonight. He should start. I'm saying. So the reason why you know the whole Zion and John Morant thing, they, I think Zion, like I said, I always had him over John Morant, but you can't necessarily say that you know that they're gonna be the um, I mean they're gonna lose to the Pelicans. You think he's gonna score 25 though? He might. He might. Like I said, you said need to know for my parlay. I think he's gonna if he start and play all his minutes, bro. It's just no telling the sky's the limit, bro. I love John Morant as a player, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of people try to put all these guys over him. When you really sit back and think about it, Shea is not better than John Morant yet. Tyrese is not better than John Morant yet. De'Aaron Foster is not better. Than, and I like that. Well, actually, I, I, De'Aaron Foster is the closest. But John Morant, you got to understand, he's had playoff success pretty much for, for, for longer than most of these guys. He actually lead his team. He actually put Stephen Curry out of the play-in tournament. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Is people was arguing, yeah, he he probably would have beat the Warriors in that year if he didn't get hurt. So you got to understand that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Ja is better than Shea. We haven't seen Shea do this stuff and lead his team to the playoffs yet, bro. You can't just put Shea over him just because he got dripped. He said Ja got no team, and that's what I'm saying. If he leads that team to the playoffs. He's, he's a top five player in the league. I'm not talking about top five point guard. He's a top five player in the league if he do that. You, so, so then there's going to be no other excuses. He's just that valuable. So like I said, he's back on his grizzly. You know what I'm saying? Back on the grizzly. No pun intended. You said I'm turning into player's choice takes. Bro, what are you talking about? So you mean to tell me if he lead his team to the playoffs, you're not going to put him top five? Why not? Why wouldn't you? Talking about, talking about turning the player's choice takes. Where your takes at? Where's your takes at? What you think about it? Yeah, Shea got a better bag, but Ja is better. Ja is more valuable. Ja brings more, like, he changes everything about the about the team. You said they ain't won't make the playoffs. I didn't say they would. I said if he does. See, you saying he's not going to make the playoffs, that's the reason why I will put him top five if they do make it. And they actually will have a chance to make it. You see other teams dropping in the West right now. You know what I'm saying? You said because Ja got more hops don't mean he better. I didn't say that, though. What's wrong with y'all, bro? Y'all hating on John Morant already before he come back? 
You said just because he got hops. Is that all he got? So so he'll be out here averaging over 25 a game? And only his hops? You said no way you said Ja better than Shea. Shea game is way better than Ja game come playoffs. Well, how that's the case if we ain't never seen Shea ball out in the playoffs yet, though? How is how, how do you know that Jog, how do you know that Shade's game is better for the playoffs if we've seen John Morant in the playoffs more? Y'all just be talking, bro. Y'all literally just be on here talking, chatting. And then the times when he was in the playoffs, if he didn't get hurt, they they would have beat the Warriors. No, I'm not talking about the fact. No, I'm not saying he was never in the playoffs. If I have not seen Shade Gilders. You feel me? Put up the numbers that job be putting up in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? How much you think job dropping? Listen, I don't know. I don't know how much they gonna play him. No, but I, no shade. This the thing about shade though. I'm not gonna say that shade not like can't be better than job, cause shade really. If I'm narrowing it down to the playoffs, then that means he right there for real. You're not a fan of John Moran? I used to listen. I used to not really be that much of a fan of him though. Like like, I used to put guys over him, but I'm saying I'm just going off of what I see that he his, like his value for his team. I think the team. You think about how bad the team is right now. I don't think they're going to be that bad when he comes back. I think when he comes back, they're going to literally turn into a whole different team. So that's why I'm – that's my prediction. Like, I'm starting to see it because I thought his team was good without him. But now that he hasn't been there, they look like a whole like, like a whole different team. I think that his value is, is like he really on some D. Rose stuff, low-key. I used to really talk trash because they used to say he better than D. Rose. You know what I'm saying? You said a healthy and good mindset job the top ten player. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he got he got what he needs. I understand what you mean about Shea's skills, but sometimes your skills don't mean that you better like you can have, excuse me, you can have skills. You can have skills, but it's like sometimes that don't mean you better for real. You said job for thirty, so I'm growing up. Yeah, bro, listen, we be talking hooks on here, yo. You know what I'm saying? When I'm not trolling, I really sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Said D Rose historically overrated. No, he's not, bro. He said if Ja can turn Memphis around, Ja will be a true super. That's what I'm saying. He turned him around. Hey, listen, because it's gonna take. Because now with the playing, like he don't gotta lead him to the eighth seed. He can lead him to the literally the tenth seed, and then literally like ball out in the play and get into the playoffs. That's what I'm saying. If he does that, then I'm gonna respect him. I'm gonna put him top five in the league, bro. I got him over Tatum. I got him over all the young cats. Except for Luca. If he does that. If he really does that. Bro, bro, there hasn't been a defender that stopped Shea from getting 30 on straight. I see what you're saying. Shea, the new guy, like, Shea like that, though. I got Shea, I got Shea top 10 right now. Matter of fact, I had Shea top 5. On my list, I got him top 5. So technically, right now, I got him over John Morant. I'm just saying, like, that'll really impress me, yo. If he come back and do that, like, that'll really impress me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because that's 25 games that you miss. And that means if he does that, then that means he's gonna have to really be balling out something crazy. Like, I'm not saying just if they happen to make the playoffs. I think if, for them to make the playoffs, he's really gonna have to ball out. That's why I'm saying, like, the type of basketball that we're going to see from him if they go to the playoffs, we're we literally going to have to put him top five. He's going to have to literally be dropping 30, 40, 35, 40, 45, 43 until the end of the season so they get to play. That mean, that's going to be MVP type of stuff to me, for real. Now, if they just make it, they just happen to make it, and he only averaging, like, 21, then uh, I ain't going to do that. So, like I said, bro, y'all can't rule that out, bro. Because if he does that, y'all can't act like that's not tough. I'm not trying to hear no haters if he do that.
You know what I'm saying? How much he dropping tonight? Tonight, if he start, he's dropping 31 points a night. That's like, who do you play against? The Pelicans? He dropped like 28, 31 points. I might go to the gym soon, I ain't gonna lie. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, you gotta understand, bro, we can't forget about John Morant. You're saying Zion better than Ja? Again, I'm gonna say it again. I, I said the same thing. I do have Zion over Ja. I think he's better, but he's, he's starting to not be available. He's starting to really not take it seriously. Like, I seen that video of Zion telling somebody, I mean, this guy was telling Zion, yeah, you are. I heard you want to come play for us. And he worked for, like, New York or something. He's like, yeah, don't say that out loud, bro. So he's not even locked in on his team. Zion not, Zion not even locked in on his team. So that's why Ja, ja will surpass a lot of people. By the end of the season, Ja, ja Morant will surpass a lot of people. You said Ja not taking it seriously. Yes, he is taking it seriously. Yes, he is taking it seriously. You know what I'm saying? He is taking it seriously. I'm not trying to hear that. You know? Because he, cause he's more available than Zion. You say, why would Zion go to New York? That's what Zion said. He said, you think about going to New York? He said, well, he insinuated that he is. He said the Grizzly and his Glizzy. <laughs> the Memphis Glizzies. <laughs> Play for the Memphis Glizzy. <laughs> Zion is bonds until he gets more athletic in the shot. Yeah, John Morant developing the shot. I thought Zion was going to have a little jumper. This man Zion want to hit 4-3. This man Zion, his first game, he hit 4 threes. And, and you feel me? He made it seem like he was going to be a shooter. He said Zion can drop 30 from just driving. Yeah, I still like Zion game. I don't think he really, like, that's not holding him back for real. But you still got to you still gotta develop it, though. You still got to, like, be a threat if you pump fake for real in the mid-range. Because when you get older, you're going to have to pump fake to get by somebody or something like that. See, people, see these players going to be thinking. These players going to be thinking. All he want to do is eat Doritos. So he think that he think that you don't you don't gotta you don't gotta work out and stay in shape and all that. <clears throat> That's why I ain't gonna lie. I'm putting more stock in the John Morant now, yo, because John Morant is gonna be in shape. You said trade Ingram for Draymond, Joseph, and CP3. The Warriors could use Brandon Ingram. I said they should get Zach Levine, but they could use Brandon Ingram. No, I ain't going to lie. They could use Brandon Ingram. Then you know if Stephen Curry won a championship with Brandon Ingram, it's going to look bad for LeBron because LeBron had Brandon Ingram. Then he missed the playoffs. He said, what's your opinion on how the Warriors doing right now? Listen, the Warriors, I didn't have that much stock in them. They picked up Chris Paul. Everybody thought that... You know, he was going to come in and be, and be the floor general and make it easy. Y'all think it's so simple with Chris Paul, yo. And he finally exposed himself. Like, he's not that much of a help for your team, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right? He's never been that much of a help. He's never been that, that much help for your team. Uh... They need another scorer. I don't think they need to trade Clay. The Warriors need another scorer in between Steph and Clay because that's what they had with Jordan Poole. That was the formula. That's like that was a smart, a smart move because what you need to do is you need to bring in more scores for the future. Jordan Poole was the future. Everybody traded on Jordan Poole after he got punched. I don't think they need a center because they never needed a center. 
So everybody said that, yeah, Jordan Poole, the new splash brother, then when he get punched, everybody want to talk about his attitude and trade on him. Now, see, when I said that Draymond was crazy for doing that, everybody thought I was crazy. Now you see Draymond punching everybody. Now you look back and see Draymond he didn't want KD to be there, didn't want Jordan Poole to be there. Why is that? Why do y'all think that is? Is that Draymond knows that he's trash, and he knows that over time, the new guys was going to be more important than he was going to be. They was going to get more, get more money than he was going to get. That's why they started coming out with these fake narratives. Oh, yeah, the Warriors needed Draymond to do what he was doing. You couldn't replace nobody and none of that. They started coming up with those narratives to try to make Draymond feel better. That's why you see him going on his podcast with his, with his beanie on. To try to, you know what I'm saying, to paint that fake narrative and then all of the Warriors fans. Because to see the LeBron fans support that because what it is is if LeBron fans support that narrative about Draymond being so valuable, now what happens is that's that adds more to the excuses, to the lit excuses. Like, oh, the Warriors had one of the, the greatest defenders of all time in Draymond. You can't replace him. They had the greatest shooter, the two greatest shooters. Draymond is just trash. Like, I don't understand why y'all ever liked him. I always, we really watched the Warriors in their prom. Iggy was, Andre Iguodala was better than him. The only difference was Draymond started and Iggy came off the bench. But when they got to the finals, you seen, oh, they had to start. You got to start Iggy. You got to start Iguodala. You know what I'm saying? It's not rocket science, bro. They say, yeah, why don't, you just, why don't you just start Iggy? You know what I'm saying? Now they win. Then they get KD over there, so they was going to probably win anyway. So it looked like Draymond really was the reason why. Oh, yeah, we got three rings because Draymond was the anchor. No! No, man. You said Iggy was for matchups. No, Iggy is a better ball handler than Draymond. Iggy is a better passer than Draymond. So don't tell me nothing about the floor general or none of that. I'm going to say it again. Iggy has better handles than Draymond, and he's a better passer than Draymond. And he's a better shooter than Draymond. Yes, he's a better passer than Draymond. What are you talking about? Don't do not do not do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Think think about it. Think about the passes you've seen. Think about the passes you've seen from Iggy, bro. Don't go against what you know in your brain. Don't go against that. Y'all go against what y'all seen with y'all eyes. And then y'all listen to the narrative on TV. You said Draymond is a way better defender. He's not a way better defender. Even if you think he's better, he's not a way better defender. It's guys in the NBA that will tell you Iggy was the best defender in the league. Kobe Bryant said, said that Iggy the best defender in the league. Now, I'm not saying what he say is law. I'm saying that, like, don't say it's way, like he's way better because Iggy is a better perimeter defender. Now, if you think Draymond is better on the interior, that don't make him way better. You know what I'm saying? You said we can say Draymond is the heart of the team. He keeps us together. But how in the world he keep you all together if he ran Jordan Poole out of town? How he keep you all together if he told KD that they didn't need him? I want you to answer that for me. How we keep you all together? You know what I'm saying? They don't need Poole. Yes, they do. You see how they look now that they lost Poole? Yes, they do. You say, look at Jordan Poole now. He don't play on the same team. He's not he, he not in the Warriors system. That's like if you get rid of Clay and put him on another team. Clay was never going to be no number one option either. Jordan Poole's not a number one option. That's all that is. He was wrong about the whole Harden thing, but Jordan Poole, you said nobody missed Poole in the Warriors? Shit. Shit. So why are everybody crying about the Warriors now then? Why are everybody saying Steph need help? Now that Draymond is suspended, y'all most definitely need pool now. You know what I'm saying? You say he was bad in the playoffs. No, he wasn't. He averaged 20 in the finals. Why are you lying? See how they do, yo? Just because just of Draymond. 
y'all going to side with the person that kept punching other people after Jordan Poole left. So don't make it seem like it was only Jordan Poole. Nobody here talking about Poole in San Francisco. Okay, that's cool. That's what you say. You know what I'm saying, Ron? Don't make me expose you, Ron. You was wrong about what you said last time. So you just hating on Jordan Poole. Right? You siding with Draymond Green. And look, they don't got Iggy no more neither. So now you really see. So now you really see where the dealio is. Draymond would have been a, a better trade than Poole. Exactly. You did not need to keep the hold on to Draymond Green, bro. That his skill set is not rare. Like it's not like you a diamond in the rough. Talking about nobody talking about Poole. Of course, they're not going to talk about him if you're not on the team no more. Why would they still be talking about him? You know what I'm saying? Why would they still be talking about somebody that's not on the team no more? But I ain't going to lie. Back to this John Morant stuff, though, right? John Morant, like I said, bro, he leads his team to the playoffs after being out for the first 25 games. We got to call this man a top five player in the league, bro. Period. That's going to show exactly how valuable. You said, why y'all hating on Dame, Tom? Dame is not good, neither. It's like, no, I ain't going to say he's not good, but he overrated, too. You say, because nobody cares about Poole. Okay, that's cool. You care about Draymond, don't you? You care about a guy that will fight people that's not trying to fight back. You seen how you was defending Draymond. You care about Draymond so bad for what? You said Luka the best right now. Yeah, Luka Doncic is the best player in the league. I've been saying that for a couple years. No, I've been saying that for a couple years, bro. He's better. He's the best player in the league. He's the best talented player in the league. Then when he get his championships, we gonna have to crown him as the best in the league. He's gonna be like top five. I think Luka. I think Luka's gonna be top three all time. Luka might finish top three all time. If he turns the, if the if the Mavericks become a dynasty, he can finish top three all time. I'll put him over Steph if he does that. But we had to wait and see. I'm not just gonna say that. You know what I'm saying? His stats are crazy right now, making Kyrie look like he's robbing. He, well, I mean, Kyrie is technically a robin. Like he is. You know, it is what it is. Kyrie about to be 31 years old. Well, he is 31, I think. About to be 32. I mean. It is what it is. I don't look at if he was arriving or not. Because there's a lot of people that was arriving. Magic was arriving for some of them rings, wasn't it? If you look at the numbers. Because what about it when he was only averaging 19, 18, and Kareem was averaging 30? Technically, that's, just, I mean, that's a robin. But I don't look at it like that, though. I look at it like Magic. How long would you putting up prime numbers for? Because you on a good team, that could be not your fault. So if you as with Kyrie, if you averaging twenty five, yeah, yeah, you might be a Robin, but you averaging twenty five. It's a lot of first options that don't even average that. So I look at because I got to make my own assessment. So I'm looking at what you doing as far as your numbers. You said, but he was finding him doing point guard stuff. I mean, that's cool, but at the same time, you had Norm Nixon, though. Norm Nixon was averaging a lot of assists. If you look at it, Norm Nixon was averaging more assists than Magic or the same amount of assists as Magic for the first couple of seasons. So, really, they both were sharing point guard responsibility. Kyrie, I mean, he's doing other stuff, too. Like, you can't be a Robin if they want you to shoot the last shot. So you're averaging 30, almost 30 in the finals, and they want you to shoot the last shot. So Luka is breaking records fast. He's in the next hard, and he's... Yeah, Luka, I, like, bro, because we got to remember, bro, he came in perfectly. Everything he's doing is just doing it perfectly, you know what I'm saying? At the perfect times. Jog going to have at least 28 points a night. 28, 30 points.
But Kyrie is his rival. Look, listen, Kyrie. If they, if Kyrie wins championships with Luka, he's still in good shape as far as climbing on the all-time list because, again, like I said, it's his number. So he's not gonna be like a. Uh, you know how Jason Kidd won a championship with Dirk, but he was only averaging like ten points, ten eleven points. Or Chris Paul, if he would have won with Devin Booker, it wouldn't have been the same as when you know his prime. Kyrie is still has a chance to literally be averaging like twenty twenty five. And and I just said this last night. The thing about Kyrie is that his numbers, like he always put himself in position to be a playoff roster. Cause he if he only averaged twenty four, twenty five in the regular season, and he averaged like twenty seven in the playoff, now you're a playoff roster. That's what he did with LeBron. He was only averaging like low twenties, like during the regular season, but in the playoffs he averaged twenty seven, twenty nine in the finals. So that means he's a playoff riser. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 gonna look nice. Then Luca, I mean, like I said, I already said Luca gonna be top three all time. Luca doing what he's supposed to be doing. That's what that's what we want from Luca. We want you to average thirty something so we can win a championship. So they were trying to say Kyrie the best player on the team. I wouldn't say all that. I just think that Kyrie, like, what it is is that he's his generational skill set. He can always get a bucket at any time. So if Luca is not going. You can give it to Kyrie and get the same effect. They both can get a bucket whenever they need to. That's why it seemed like it's like a debate, but I would just still say Luca. Luca younger, he's a better playmaker and all that. So Dane, to be honest, is better. This man said Dane better than Luca right now. If you if you put Luca Doncic on the Bucks with Giannis, Luca would be the best player on the team. Trust me. Trust me, you would. You said Kyrie is a great support scorer in this game. Yeah, Kyrie's so trustworthy. Like, because Kyrie's scoring skills is so trustworthy. Like, like if you compare to any other guy that would average what Kyrie's averaging, I, I wouldn't trust the other guy that much. As much as I would trust Kyrie. Like, not even Devin Booker. I trust Kyrie more than... I, I trust Kyrie more than what you call it. More than Devin Booker. Like y'all can say y'all can say what y'all want about the number one option thing. I don't really care about that. I'm just saying like his craft, like you can tell that like he really had worked on his craft for real. No, you, you, you listen, you think Devin Booker I think Kyrie is more clutch than Devin Booker. I trust him literally like getting his shot off, getting the bucket off. Then he a better finisher. Like sometimes Devin Booker don't finish. If if you really pay attention, sometimes he don't finish. No, I ain't saying Devin Booker trash. I'm saying that's how I'm trying to say that's how good I think Kyrie. But back to this John Morant thing, right? Back to this John Morant thing. Again, I'm putting him top five in the league. I don't care what y'all say. If he go, if they make the playoffs after this, he is. He gotta be. You gotta put him top five. You said Kyrie is not better than Booker in 2023. All right, so with the Mavs, so this season is the Mavs looking good. Who do you think is looking better this season, the Mavs or the uh, or the Suns? You said if your life depends on it, who's gonna take the take the last shot for in the clutch? You said for sure is Dame. No, it's not gonna be Dame. It'll either be the last shot. Who I'm trusting to take the last shot? I'm trusting either Kyrie or Luka. The Suns don't look better than the Mavs this season, bro. Why are you lying? I'm trusting Kyrie or Luka. I'm trusting... Uh, I'm trusting LeBron when he's confident. I'm trusting LeBron when he really... When he when it's like one of them games, you really can't tell him nothing. It's over Damian Lillard. I'm trusting... Or well, I don't know if I trust... See, because LeBron... See, the fact that I had to say that, I don't know if I... I don't know if I would take him over Damian. Nadal is a 24 point per game player. He's not matured to be more. No, he averaged more than that last year, bro. Why are you lying? D. Book is crazy effective last playoffs with last season. Yeah. Kyrie Irving had the most fourth quarter points last season. You know what I'm saying? 
Tatum or Luka if you're building a team. I'm 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 picking I'm picking uh Luka. If I'm building a team, I'm picking Luka. Yeah, Jalen, bro, he's gonna try to lie on his name. He's average way more than that. Them them twenty four points a game days, them days is over. They really tried to mess up John Morant Prime, bro. And it's really it's gonna have no effect. Cause these guys in the league don't be playing no defense. He about to come back and literally still still just be hooping. I'm saying. It's a daily pitch posting. I'll follow your page. I mean eating pitch. Said John not in his prom. He about to enter his prom. He said he did it to himself. I understand that. I understand that. We was getting on him last year when it happened, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it is what it is, yo. Jalen Brunson or Trey Young? I got Trey Young. You said Luke is going to make Dirk look like he was overrated if he keeps it up. No, he's not. He just, he just probably going to be better than Dirk. That's all. I got Dirk top 15. This man, rich, rich sports, trying to trying to cap. Say Kobe is the goat. Nah, bro, you can't come. Don't come over to the Kobe side now, bro. You should have been did your research. Don't come over here to the Kobe side now, bro. You talk way too much trash on that man name. You know what I'm saying he said John Moran will be in jail before he gets to his <laughs> problem. Oh man. Said, what did Halle do to be over job? That's what I'm saying. I like Halliburton. Don't they gonna make me turn to a Halliburton hater? So they suddenly say he already better than John Morant. And I like Halliburton, bro. Like they going they starting to say too much now, bro. You said Halle is a better PG than job right now. No, but no, he's not though. He's playing good. He's making a name for himself. Yeah, I'm going to watch the game live. I got lead pass. Guys, about to come back and average 27. So, I'm right going to be better than he was last season because you got to carry them and try to get them in the playoffs real quick. We about to see him really hooping. Like, it's going to be fun to watch. The NBA had missed Zion. I mean, missed, uh, the NBA had missed John Morant. That's what I'm saying. Like, Ja, like, like yo, what channel he playing on? It's like this gonna be tough. And he playing the Pelicans? That's a good game. But yeah, y'all, like like I said, man. Everybody gonna understand it. You know, maybe John Morant had to go through this to really come out on top and make it through the storm and really get through the adversity for real. When we look back, this gonna be a big amazing story for his career. You think he a top five point guard who John Morant? Uh yeah, like yeah, I think you gotta give it. You got Steph. You got Luca if he the point guard, I guess, or Kyrie the point guard. If Luca the point guard, you got Steph and Luca. You know what I'm saying. I mean, you got Trey Young. You know, I mean, you got John Morant. You said Kyrie is the point guard. All right, what well, do you got? Stephen Kyrie. You got. I'm trying to think if if I'm missing somebody. Cause I no, I do got Trey slightly over Ja. So I got. So you got Stephen Kyrie. You got. Um. I guess Shea a point guard right now, right? What I'm saying, bro, is if if Ja no Devin Booker not a top five point guard. If John Morant leads them to the playoffs, what I'm saying is he's top five in the league, period, like, as a as a player. You said Devin Booker is a point guard right now. He's not a top five point guard. Even if he's a point guard, he's not a top five point guard. So, like I said, you got Stephen Kyrie. You got uh, going to do all, all point guards that's, like, 6'3 and under. You're going to leave Luka out, and we're going to leave, leave Shea out. 
So you got Steph, you got Kyrie, I think you got Trey Young, De'Aaron Fox, John Morant. That's the top five right there. You know what I'm saying? You said, what's the loss tonight? What you mean? Yo, what channel they play on? Oh, Kevin Durant and Book 25. I picked the over on both of them. You got to die over Braun. If he make, if he take the team to the playoffs here, yeah. I got Braun at like six right now. <laughs> Check betting. You need two more locks. Kevin Durant and Devin Book. I would, I would bet the over on them. They be getting the over every time. Bron's still better than Ja. I got him ranked at six right now. I got Ja. I don't got Ja ranked because he been out. But if Ja made the playoffs with this squad right here, I got him over. Oh, well, you probably still could put Bron over Ja because because Bron beat him. Bron, uh, Bron beat him last year in the playoffs. But I'm saying, this is just gonna be amazing if Ja does that. That's amazing, bro. That's better than winning that in season tournament to me if he lead him to the playoffs. Cause you. Down, you down 25 games. Everybody else got a 25 game head start, and your team was losing and getting going down in the standards and all that. You said, What's the you said, you said, who the top five in the league? You got Luka, Giannis, Jokic. You got Shea, and you got MB. And I had Brown at six. Jamal Murray or Jalen Brunson? I got Jamal Murray. Jalen Brunson is like, right? He like a Darius Garland type of player to me. It's like he not really like, like he he he's he's at the age to where he his most athletic, most his you feel me, most 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 nice right now. So he gonna have his big games, but it's not going. I don't think it's gonna last that long for real. With Jalen Brunson. So he's tough though. So Jamal Murray, I think Jamal Murray is a better overall sport. I think he got more handles and stuff like that. Obviously he's faster and more athletic. And like I said, he played way better in the playoffs. You see what he's doing in the playoffs, he's playing he's playing way better than Jalen Brunson in the playoffs. Even when Jalen Brunson was playing with Luca. I like I like Jamal Murray when he's playing with Yoke. You think Jock can end his career top 15 all the time? I don't know. The top 15 needs some new point guards in it. So he wins some championships, man. The point guard spots is open because a lot of point guards wasn't winning championships. So it, that joint's still free game. Like, if John Morant gets two, three rings, bro, you're going to have to look at him and, like, you're going to have to look at him and, like, Isaiah Thomas. You're going to have to look at it. You feel me? But you're going to have to look at him and, like, whoever you would put right there, Jason Kidd or whoever, you got, you got to look because a lot of point guards don't got no championship. You said, remember you said it here first, job will be 24 points per game this year. Well, listen, like I said, yo, I don't think you're going to be 24 points a game. I don't think so. Like I said, yo, John Morant officially back on his Grizzly. You feel me? No pun intended. And so... At the end of the day, y'all, uh, I'll be we watching the game tonight. He said, so Curry got to be ranked like five all the time. Yeah, I got Steph Curry like five or six all the time. You know what I'm saying? John Morant, 30 points a night. 